in exchange for a simple delivery to a place not far out of your way. Would you do this for a Witch of the Wilds? You would go through all that trouble to have something delivered? I have an appointment to keep. It is far more convenient this way. Happily, you are not without your own needs. Should we trust her? Wesley is injured. We'll never escape the Darkspawn. If you need to, leave me behind. No. I said I would drag you out if I had to, and I meant it. We don't have much choice. We never do. There is a clan of Dalish elves near the city of Kirkwall. Deliver this amulet to their keeper, Marathari. Do as she asks with it, and any debt between us is paid in full. Before I take you anywhere, however, there is another matter. <coughs> No, leave him alone. What has been done to your man is within his blood already. You lie! She's right, Aveline. I can feel the corruption inside me. There must be something we can do. The only cure I know of is to become a Grey Warden. And they all died at Ostagar. Not all. But the last are now beyond your reach. Aveline, listen to me. You can't ask me this. I won't. Please. The corruption is a slow death. I can't. He's your husband, Aveline. I can't decide his fate. Be strong, my love. Without an end, there can be no peace. It gets no easier. Your struggles have only just begun. Flemeth! I thought that might interest you. You expect me to believe a myth swooped out of the wild to save the champion? Oh, come now, Seeker. Do I need to recite the tale of the Warden as well? No. Perhaps I shouldn't be surprised to hear of her involvement. I liked my version better, too. What else aren't you telling me, then? Did she send someone with the champion? In a matter of speaking. So it's true. Continue. But if you tell me they all flew to Kirkwall on a dragon... Nothing so fanciful, I assure you. The witch kept her word and got them to Guaran, where they took ship. They sailed north across the waking sea, lashed by terrible storms. Two weeks they spent in that dark hold, packed in with the fearful and the desperate. And then they saw it. Kirkwall, the city of chains. Long ago, it was part of the Imperium. Slaves coming from far and wide to work the quarries. Now, it's a free city. But I use the word loosely. Sail through those black cliffs and you'll see what the slaves of old saw. The gallows, welcoming you. 
That's where their ship landed. With all the rest. into the city what that can't be it's true look at them all are we really surprised everyone's fleeing the blight just as we are and they would throw us all back to the wolves unbelievable I'm only surprised they let us dock we need to find Gamlet our family has always been highly regarded in Kirkwall. He can do something, I'm sure of it. Let's hope he received your letter. The guards seem to be reporting to that man. Perhaps we should speak to him. Back to the crowd, you lot. Trying to bully your way through won't get you into Kirkwall any faster. But you do intend to let us in. <laughs> we have enough poor of our own in the free marches. We don't need you refugees piling up here like a midden's heap. There must be someone in charge I can speak with. <sighs> yes, yes, always the same story. You want in, talk to Captain Yuald. I'm just here to keep you refuse from climbing the walls. Let us through, you flaming blighter. We're not staying in this pit. Then get back on your ship and leave. Kirkwall has no more room for refugees. The ship's already gone. We've paid good coin to get here. You and half of Ferelden. There's nothing I can do. The city is full. If you keep packing people into this fortress, there's going to be trouble. You can bet your ass there will be. If we keep packing people into the city, it'll be far worse. We've been letting you Ferelden's in for months. You're too late. There's no more room. But we've got family here. I've heard claims like that a thousand times already, trust me. We'll find some ships to take you all back to Ferelden, eventually. Until then, you stay here. Tell me who's in charge of this bloody mess. The city's been closed by order of the Viscount and Knight Commander Meredith, whose fortress you're standing in. But as far as you're concerned, I'm in charge. We came here to speak to our uncle, Gamlin Amel, and we won't leave until we do. Gamlin? I know that name. He's a nobleman here in the city. Our family has an estate. A nobleman? The only Gamlin I know is a weasel who couldn't rub two coppers together. He comes back, I'll bring you to him. But I don't have time to... What? You're gonna let them through? I didn't say anything about... We've been here for four days! They just got here! That's it! We're carving our way out of here! Men! Unbelievable. <sighs> Captain, are you all right? I am, no thanks to you. Where is everyone? Go find them. I want this kept under control. You have my thanks. Look, I can't get you into the city. It's not my decision. But I'll find your uncle and bring him here. It's been three days. This waiting has to end. I'm sure it won't be much longer. Gamlin must still be looking for us. And if he's not? This must be him now.
Leandra. Damn girl, the years haven't been kind to you. Gamlin. Let me say up front, I wasn't expecting this. The Blight, your husband. Dead. I'd uh, figured you'd pretty much be Ferelden for life. Oh, Gamlin. We came too late. My darling Bethany didn't make it. I'm dressed to guide her. Oh, make her save me. Leandra, don't drop this on me here. I don't even know if I can help you get in. There are other ways to get into a city. Sure. That worked real well for those soldiers we fought. I hate to agree, but there's a reason they housed us in an old prison. I was hoping to grease some palms, but the Knight Commander's been cracking down. We're gonna need more grease. But... what about the estate? Surely Father left something when he died? Right, uh, about the estate. It's... um... Gone. To settle a debt. I've been meaning to write you. Then there's no hope. N not quite. I know some people who might help. If you're not too delicate about the company you keep. We don't have any choice, do we? I need to get my family into Kirkwall. I talked to my contacts, and I found some people who might be willing to pay your way into the city. The catch is, you and your brother will have to work off the debt. For a year. A year? It's the best I could do. Trust me when I say a bunch of refugees won't get a better option anywhere else. We cut down dozens of Darkspawn and an ogre to get here. That has to count for something. Unless you brought an ogre's head along on the boat, I doubt it. I managed to convince my contacts to come to the gallows to meet you personally. Miran heads up the mercenary company, the Red Iron. They're looking for recruits. A Fenril. I guess you might call her a smuggler. Either one of them can help you. All you need to do is find them in the courtyard and convince them you're worth the trouble. What do you think about this, Carver? What can I say? Better here than nowhere. How dangerous is this smuggler's work? Well, it won't be pretty working for her. She's a pretty small fish compared to some of the other thieves' guilds around here. But she's tough, she's fair, and she never deals in slaves or flesh. What kind of man is this Miran? He's a hired sword. What do you expect him to be like? I wouldn't bring him home for dinner or anything, but he's got a decent reputation. I wouldn't have asked him if I thought he'd cross you. Let's find them, and see what they have to say. Oh, Gamlin, I don't know about this. It's a lot of coin, Leandra. Don't go expecting our name to carry the kind of weight it used to. And what of me? I will not allow others to incur debts on my behalf. <laughs> Can't see that it makes a difference. You look like a lady who can pull her own weight. Then you'll come with us. I... have no real option. Thank you. Miran. Huh. So you're Hawk, the nephew. Your uncle talked up a storm about you. He better not be blowing more smoke out his ass. I'll find some other way into the city. Let me know how that works out for you. You again. Still too good to work for the Red Iron. I'd like to know more about you first. Right. You're not a marcher like your uncle. The Red Iron is well known in these parts. We pick who we work for and keep our noses clean. But anyone screws with us, we mess them up. Makes sense. Makes sense. All I know is if we join the company, I'm going to start talking like that. Getting us into the city will take a lot of coin. <laughs> Did I mention the Red Iron gets paid pretty well? Not to mention your uncle said you were a mage. We're willing to pay for that. Does everyone know about us? You're not in the circle yet? Then probably not. You stick with us. You'll be safe. For a year.
at least. My uncle doesn't 